And uh, I've noticed uh, recently that there has been some, you know, of course you do something and everybody else does it too. And so, you know, weight's important in these cars, but some places you just can't, you can't cut that weight out of there. And we believe this is uh, one of those places. So, hey everybody, Tim came us out in the shop again tonight. I'm gonna go over some more products. Uh, these aren't new, but we have uh, revised some things on them. So it was, uh, it's worth going over again. So. We have adjustable shock mount four link brackets. So this is one of the brackets here. This is one for a modular housing, uh, but we have these brackets that are for the welded three and a half inch tube also. This is really what we're talking about here is this back part where the shock's gonna mount. Instead of a stationary uh, standard mount, we've got this uh, adjustable set of holes here that are gonna accept these different styles of mounts. So for instance, this one um, it's going to sandwich between the two. They're machined to go in between the brackets. So this will go in here like this, and it's going to provide incremental adjustments for you to change the ride height at the back of the car without affecting the amount of piston you have compressed in the shock. Now these are set up, they will go either way. You can flip this over and mount it like this, or you can turn it this way. And that works for both of these mounts. This, uh, this particular one, this is uh, what we call a center mount, okay? So this uh, is gonna sandwich in between the two four link brackets, and then your shock is gonna fit in here. So this will be a center mount, uh, lower shock. It's beveled on both sides, so like I said, you can flip it over and this will provide the clearance for that to uh, swivel on that insert so that you don't have any binding of the shock. One of the things I wanted to touch on was that we machine these out of a, a solid block of 4140. And uh, I've noticed uh, recently that there has been some, you know, of course you do something and everybody else does it too. And so um, there's some adjustable mounts out there that are aluminum. And, uh, you know, they're probably 60, 61, I would imagine, maybe 70, 75. I don't know what they're made out of. But um, so the shocks on the back of these cars are in the past, they probably weren't as important to performance just because of the way they were built. But over the years, the shock technology has has grown out of control. I mean, they are so good now. And they're, you know, the movement of that rear shock is, is measured in millimeters. I mean, it's just the tiniest movement affects the car, the tiniest hold back of that piston, um, the tiniest uh, extension of the piston affects the car. So, um, we just don't believe that aluminum is is a good choice for this mount. Um, so yeah, this is a little heavier, but um, just like on the chassis end, we want uh, the shock to be mounted solid. We want to be zero deflection on the chassis or at the housing. We don't want there to be um, any deflection at all. So aluminum, I don't care what you do. I mean, if you make a center mount out of aluminum, um, it still has some deflection. It's, uh, there's a lot of pressure on this mount. So number one, you're holding up the back of the car with it, but when, when that shock, when you start putting power to that rear tire, the hydraulic movement of that shock cre creates a tremendous amount of pressure on these mounts. And the slightest bit of flex will create problems and will create ill performance in how the car handles. So. We just believe this is better. Um, there, it's cheaper to build them out of aluminum. It's easier. You don't have to do any plating. So these are raw. So you know, if you do a housing, you're going to plate the housing, and you're going to plate these also. So you need to do something for corrosion resistance. You don't have to do that with aluminum. But again, the the benefits of this outweigh the aluminum by far. Um, so this, like I said, is a center mount, and then this is an inset mount or offset mount, however you want to call it. Um, inset would be like this, and then they can, they can go this way. A normal setup for us is going to be uh, inset like this. So, so this has a, uh, a threaded uh, bushing put in here, and it's tapered on the end. So this is made for the, the shock to bolt up tight to the side of it, and this is going to provide the offset clearance for the shock. And then uh, it's going to have a half inch bolt that's going to go through this and uh, secure the shock with a misalignment bushing on the outside. 
And then we're going to use a, uh, a really nice shouldered uh, NAS or an AM bolt would be sufficient for this so, so that you have all shoulder on the shock spherical bearing and no threads. We don't want any threads out there because that's not going to provide the fit and the support that we need. So we're going to put a, a nice shouldered bolt in here and a uh, lock washer on top of the misalignment bushing on the outside. So these are offset mounts, and again, these are uh, 4130. Now, uh, when we first started making these, uh, we um, th they were taking us a while to machine them because this is uh, this is a harder material. I mean, you can't just blow through this real quick. But uh, since then, we've increased our uh, capacity on our machines. So <clears throat> we have all of our own CNC machines in house. So our one big machine where we make these is uh, it's now a super high speed spindle and it also has a high pressure through the tool coolant. So we pressurize the, uh, the, the coolant down through the spindle and down through the tool and then all the flutes in the cutter have uh, holes in them where the coolant is blown uh, through there at 300 psi so it blows all the chips out of the way. So that investment in that technology has allowed us to um, uh, change our tooling and our um, machining process on this. So what now took uh, quite a lot longer to machine, now we can machine this really quickly because we can blow through this. I mean, it's, it's actually amazing to watch how fast this can be cut out. So in turn, um, that's brought our uh, cost down in this part. So in the current age of uh, everything's a lot fucking higher, uh, we've lowered the price on these. So instead of uh, you guys getting a shock with the uh, prices going up, these have actually went down substantially. So uh, really nice piece at a good price and um, really high quality. And, and this is the right part for the job. And it is, you know, weight's important in these cars, but some places you just can't, uh, you can't cut that weight out of there. And we believe this is uh, one of those places. So really nice part. Um, fits perfectly. We have a bolt kit available for this end of it and then there's we have a shock bolt kit also. So all this stuff's available on our site. Check it out. If you have any questions you can call any of our guys and they'll be glad to help you. But uh, again, uh, we're, uh, we're investing in more uh, technology here to try to uh, speed up the production and cut the cost on this stuff while still uh, producing a high quality part. So that's what we have here. Uh, if you have some questions, give us a call and we would be glad to talk to you. So you guys have a good evening.